Alright, good day to the world. I'm Daniel here and this is my very first video on my newest YouTube channel, All Things China. I'm getting very excited because today I'm going to show you one of the latest smartwatch by number one, D5. There you go, here is the smartwatch itself. Uh, it comes with two versions, either the all black or the silver front. In this case, I'm having the all black version. It is actually an aluminum black, as you can see, and it feels very solid. It has black leather stripes and back aluminum uh, on its back. In the middle, you can see the heart rate sensor. This is the battery contact as well as the speaker grill. Right at the side is the one and only button. So as you can see, when by pressing the right button it brings you back to the face. It's having a resolution of 360 by 360. Press and hold, it will bring you up to all the watch faces. There's plenty to choose from, a total of 39 of them. Uh, we have the classic down and if you want a retro digital crop face there's a quite a few of them to choose from as well one of my favorite is this one middle is a clock bottom is a date and at the top is the number of steps you took today if you scroll right to the end all the way to the end you will see a plus sign yeah you go right at the end this is where you can touch and it brings you to a download screen where you can download even more face down currently there's about four i'm sure the developer will add more as time goes on at the home screen itself if you flip up this way it will bring you the status bar shows you the 3G GSM network, hotspots, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and battery indicator as well as the date. Now bear in mind this watch is really amazing because it's actually an independent smartwatch as well as a smartphone. You can actually dial right from the phone, uh, I mean the watch itself. There you go, as it's indicated here as 3G. If you scroll to the right, it will bring you the notification center. This is where all the messages and notification will be routed from your handphone to this screen. Scroll to the left, will brings you the first screen which is the mp3 player. Click to play. Further scroll to the left, will brings you to the heart rate monitor. I tried myself personally, it's very accurate. Scroll down to return. This is the pedometer. It shows that I actually took 1691 steps today which is equivalent to 1.1 km. Further scroll to the left will bring you to the weather. It's not as accurate as it should be because I'm right now not in Sambawang, I'm actually in Sengang. Right click will bring you back to the home screen. A single tap will bring you to the menu, uh, the usual stuff, phone, contacts, settings, health, music, blah blah blah. Uh, it has its own app stores which currently there's only about 4 uh, apps for the smartwatch, not much. But the beauty of this smartwatch is, it's actually a full-fledged Android 4.4 which means you actually have Play Store now with Play Store you can actually install all the apps that you can find on Play Store that's really really amazing it's a full-fledged Android system running on the smartwatch now I've installed a few of the very useful apps such as Face Facebook, Skype, Maps and the almighty Spotify now, let me just show you FaceTime, uh, Facebook I mean And here you can see there you go, video on Facebook. Isn't it amazing? It's crazy, crazy stuff. Now all in all, this watch feels very sturdy. I've been using it for a week now and I must say it's it's really really value for its money. For 109 US dollar only with a full-fledged smartwatch and a smartphone two in one. It's really really good build. Uh, highly recommended to anyone who are keen in this. I bought it at gitbuying.com. Uh, now 
comes with this, it actually comes with a docking station. This is where you plug in the micro USB port. And of course then the phone will plug in this way for charging. Magnetic charging. There you go. So all in all, I'm very satisfied with this watch. Uh, highly recommended and go take a look. Uh, and do put in comments of any question that you might have and I'll do my best to answer those. Until next time, bye bye.